a day is an awful lot of food. You'll starve unless you can eat four times your weight in food each year. Now multiply that by seven billion and you begin to see just how big a challenge feeding the world can be. Not every land and climb is good for growing. There's drought and cold and disease and heat and bugs and weeds and bad soil. We've overcome each hardship by any means that we could. But one tool stands alone above them all. Genetic modification. We've been doing it since before history began. Genetic modification. Every crossbred crop or selective breeding plan. We're slowly working toward a world where famine's in the past. Imagining abundance for the throng. And now we have the means to engineer these dreams into the light of day where they There can be errors. New traits appear, some good, some bad. You keep the seeds you like best. It's a long, slow, random process with side effects galore. But a better way has given us something more. Take a gene that codes for one trait only. Insert it into the stem cells of a plant you want to improve. They'll grow and give you seeds to plant with the trait you want and no more. Precision to give hope where there was none. Genetic modification. We can give crops any gene under the sun. or fight the coming drought. Each incremental win helps us along. Cause engineering genes has given us a means of uplifting the world where we belong. Let's not forego the means to engineer the dreams let's keep them in the light where they belong